Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something quite a bit different than what I normally do. I'm going to be pickling things that shouldn't be pickled. I've never pickled anything before. I've read a couple of recipes online. I'm not going to be following those. I'm just going to be adding the pickling vinegar, the water, and the salt. No extra seasonings. That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be leaving them for a couple of weeks. Uh, normally the recipes say you only have to wait a couple of days. I think that's a little weird. So I'm going to be leaving them for at least a couple weeks. Maybe longer, maybe not. I don't know. So what am I going to be pickling? Again, things that shouldn't be pickled. Um, we're going to start off with meat. We're going to pickle some raw meat. So let's get that into a jar here. Oh yeah, they really did mean use right away or freeze. It already kind of smells a little off. So when all is said and done with this, I'm probably not going to try it. But let's get that into a little bit smaller of a piece here. We got a couple pieces of meat. Uh, next, we're going to do some eggs. Now, you can pickle eggs. Uh, a lot of people pickle eggs. However, normally when you pickle eggs, you hard boil them first. These are not hard boiled. So they're just raw eggs. And I know vinegar will eat away at the shell of eggs. So we'll see what happens there. Now, you gotta warm the brine up for the pickles. I'm curious if that hot brine is just going to make the eggs explode right away. We'll see. So three eggs. We'll try that. Next, strawberries. I know a lot of people do pickle fruit, but generally when you're pickling fruit, you're also adding sugar. I'm not adding sugar. This is just going to be a whole strawberry. You know what, you know, let's slice a couple of the strawberries up too, just to see what happens. You know, for science. That, that many strawberries? So we'll slice up this bigger one here. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, that's, we got a couple small pieces, a couple big pieces. We'll see what happens. All right, strawberries. Uh, next, avocados. Never heard of anybody pickling an avocado before. So I have a little bit more of a ripe one and a not ripe one. So we'll see. We'll see what happens to to the different kind of avocados. We're leaving the skin on. It'll be interesting to see if the pickling even gets through the skin. The stuff is pretty thick. Ooh, are they gonna fit? We'll make them fit. Hmm. <laughs> I should have gotten smaller avocados or bigger jars. If that wasn't bruised before, it's definitely bruised now. This one's not gonna fit. Tell you what, we're going to cut the unripe one. Problems I'm having ugh, getting through that avocado. Now hopefully the pickling process shrinks these a little bit. You know what? I'm going to save this for something else. And next, 
Bananas. Again, never heard of anybody pickling a banana before. Now these, kind of in between being ripe and not ripe, that'll almost fit. Nope. Well, I wanted to leave it in its peel. It broke open a little bit. Not the end of the world. The last thing that we'll be pickling is a lemon and a lime. So, let's get those in there. Hmm. Same issue as the avocado. Let's cut it up. The lime here. Alright, so now we should be able to easily get that lime in there. Let's get our brine warmed up and get these jars filled up. So here we have everything all filled up with the uh, pickle brine, and now we just have to set them aside and wait. Uh, like I said, it'll be about two weeks, maybe a little longer, depends on if I remember them or not. But one issue I have is I ran out of pickling solution brine on the banana. So that's another experiment in and of itself. Will the pickling go up into the banana? I don't know. Time will tell. So I will see you in a couple of weeks. Two weeks later. All right, so our items have now been pickling for about two weeks now, so let's, uh, let's get them opened up and see what they look like. Start off with the strawberries. Actually, it doesn't smell that bad. That was actually pretty good. All right. 
so the pickling definitely made them a lot squishier like they just just turned to mush but really they don't they don't smell that bad I gotta do it. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Oh, that is super salty. I, it doesn't even taste like strawberry anymore. That is just. That's salt. Alright, so. Smells pretty good. Doesn't taste good. Next, banana. Well, only part of this banana was actually in the, the pickling juice there. So, we will see what happened to the top of it. Again, it really doesn't smell that bad. This kind of smells like banana peel. You know, bananas kind of, the peels have more of a distinct smell. All right. Let's, well, this is interesting. The, the part that's split open, the banana isn't browned at all. Let's open this up here. Oh. Well. It fared a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was just going to be brown and mushy and... But... The part that was split open... Is more... More firm than, than this. This is a little more squishy. But that's kind of, kind of where it starts changing right there. Again, it just smells like the peel. No, no, no. No. Again, just salt. It's nothing else. Just salty, mushy banana. Next, avocado. No, the half one wasn't ripe when I put it in there. Uh, the one on the bottom was ripe. Or, I mean, at least it looked ripe. Hmm. How am I going to get these out of here? I'm sure the pickling made them swell up a little bit here. Okay. No, interesting. When I was cutting the avocado in half here, uh, I'm assuming it happened when I was cutting it. The pit broke up a little bit. Hmm. Kind of. I don't know how to describe this. It's it doesn't smell like avocado. Now, avocados really don't have a whole heck of a lot of scent. Oh, well, here we go. That's interesting. It took off the outside layer of the seed. Otherwise, it's super rubbery. Oh, interesting. Looks like 
a seed or something leaked into the avocado itself. Neat. Yeah, there's a definite line on that. Let's get that other one out of here. If I can. Oh, oh it's starting to squeeze out of the stem there. There we go. Well, this one, I mean, aside from the smell, it looks like it was a ripe avocado. You know, the skin breaks and peels a lot easier than what I think avocados normally do. Actually, not horrible. It, uh, It tastes like really salty guacamole, Un unseasoned guacamole. Not, not appetizing. If this was served at a party or something, I probably wouldn't eat any of it, you know, after the first bite. But uh, you know, it's not, it's not disgusting. And the seed, yeah, the seed just seems like it's normal. Doesn't seem like anything happened to the seed there. All right, on to our next item. Next we have the meat. Now this went in raw, so I don't think I'm gonna try this one. However, that did have a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent snap on it. <clears throat> Again, this went in raw, and it kind of already had a bit of a funk to it. So, yeah, it definitely doesn't smell like good meat. Uh, this is definitely not something that I think would be an appetizing meat smell, but it does smell like meat. And not, not bad meat, just not good. Like maybe, maybe like dog food. Yeah, yeah, it kind of smells like dog food. Let's get a piece out of there. All right, so it's it's rubbery, and it looks like yeah, I could just tear it right apart. I mean, there's no pink left in it, but it's raw still. It's not cooked. It's just been pickled. No, I suppose when I poured the, the pickling juice in there, because it was hot, might have cooked it a little bit. Not enough to where I would trust eating this. Um, I'm not that brave. <laughs> no way. Yeah, this just, just tears right apart. Here's a piece of... Oh, that's interesting. Piece of the fat. Just... It's waxy. Like... Like a... Like a butter. last piece out of here yeah all right 
If this didn't smell bad when I first put it in, maybe if I had cooked it, I'd try a piece. I'm not that brave. Alright, next item. Next, lemon and limes. These don't really look that bad. Um, the limes kind of lost color a little bit. But, limes just look just fine. Oh, you know what? That actually smells really good. Like the the, the pickling juice. It's really brought out that, that citrus smell. Well, I, if you like lemons, this smells amazing. I bet you it doesn't taste amazing, though. Right, so here's a piece of the lime. Right, so let's get some more out of here. Again, pickling really didn't do much to it. Well, the lime is definitely a lot more firm than the lemon. The lemon, you just squeeze it apart. The lime, on the other hand, a little more tough. Now, I guess lemons, not limes, are a little more tough than lemons anyway. It's definitely a lot more fibrous, you know, more pulp, more pulp in it, and the, I just really don't want to splash this everywhere, and the skins are surprisingly pretty tough. Uh, that's what I didn't want to do. Skin was pretty tough there. Man. Same with the lemon. Yeah. Not that bad. A little salty. Really salty. Add a little bit of tequila. We have ourselves a party. There, right, on to the last item. All right, now I saved this one for last because honestly I thought this would be the most interesting. And when I put them in there, they were raw eggs. Again, the pickling juice has to be at a boil in order to do the pickling. Oh, that's like carbonation in it. You know, I bet you that had to do with leaving the shells in there. So normally when you pickle eggs, you hard boil them first, then you pickle them. So hindsight, I might have added a little bit too much salt to my mixture. This is the first time I've ever pickled anything though, so let's get one of that. Oh, oh, the shells are really soft. I can already tell that. But yeah, this one. This one cracked open just from me grabbing it here. So I knew the shells were going to be a little, little weak because vinegar is one of the uh, items that go into pickling, but these are, these are super weak. And I kind of expected the heat of the pickling juice to kind of hard boil them a little bit. I guess not. Yeah, these shells are just just disintegrated. Oh, the yolk. The yolk is hard. Well, not hard, but Look at that. It's like 
It's like a thick jelly. Oh. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, these yolks are just... So the yolks got pickled. It just smells like... It smells like pickling brine. Oh. Well, at least I didn't get any on myself. Huh. Well, this one's not as bad as the others. All right. So that was six items pickled that shouldn't be pickled. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching. If there's anything else that you can think of for me to pickle, leave it down in the comments and I'll think about it. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.